it's very very windy this morning but uh, I'm heading off to Infinity Motorcycles in North Camp to um, to try on some helmets and particularly I want to uh, try the Shoei NXR um, I currently wear a Kberg Duke which is a uh, modular helmet and I have to say it, it, it's a very good helmet it's uh, five star in the sharp crash protection And it's quite a comfortable lid. Internal flip down visor, sun visor. It's a, it's a modular helmet, um, so the flip up front, and it's um, quite windy. And it's homodulated uh, for use both with the chin bar down and the chin bar flipped up. So you can legally ride it in both positions on the road. It comes uh, pin lock ready and with a pin lock which I have to say is is the best thing for stopping fogging inside the visor and it also comes with a built-in flip down sun visor so yeah, having the uh, integral flip down sun visor on days like today where well, the sun's not really low but it is and the sun's in and out of the uh, clouds It is uh, really helpful to have that sun visor. One thing that um, is a bit of a pain though is on cold days like today The uh, pin lock certainly does its job, but the visor does mist up. The uh, sun visor, I mean. The one downside to this helmet, and I'm riding today without earplugs, is, um, and I'm not sure if you can hear, but the wind noise. I 
and I'm uh, at about the uh, national speed limit and, and if I just go just a touch faster the wind noise for cruising on motorway dual carriageways is pretty substantial I wouldn't wear this helmet the, even at 60 miles an hour or 55, 60 it's still quite windy I wouldn't wear this uh, if I was on a ride for more than about 15-20 minutes especially at higher speed without earplugs you'd be deaf and I think that's uh, the reason why it is noisy is because of the modular nature of the helmet and the various gaps and such like of the hinging mechanism so one of the reasons why I want to uh, go and have a look at another helmet is because um, I want something that's a bit quieter The other slightly downside with this uh, K-Bug Duke is um, I think they only use two shell sizes so my head is a medium and actually you sort of put this on and look in the mirror and the, the actual shell of the helmet looks a little bit uh, shall we say on the larger side for my head and body Bit like a Sontaran from uh, Doctor Who, I always think. And because it uh, comes in two shell sizes, it's not the lightest of helmets. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it doesn't feel like my head is being weighed down the whole time. Um, you know, I, do, I certainly can feel it on my head, and, and you get used to it. All in all, it's pretty comfortable but uh, after about an hour and a half especially around the ears just um, you know you, you feel like you're wearing it it's, uh, so again I want to try uh, try another helmet to see if I can get a little more uh, comfort and lightness in my helmet and by all accounts from what a couple of friends have told me and uh, looking online the Shoei NXR is supremely comfortable and very light so yeah I really want to try on the uh, NXR and it looks like there's some incredibly good deals on some of the uh, older stock paint schemes yeah if you're to buy one of the uh, replica current versions you're talking about 400 430 quid for it I think you can get the uh, gloss white and gloss black for about 330 so to to recap the reasons why I'm looking for a uh, another helmet I've had this one for about two years now is um, something that's a bit smaller shell size on my head doesn't make me look like a Centauran something that's uh, lighter and more comfortable and something also that um, is a lot quieter so lighter, more comfortable, quieter a bit smaller so we'll, we'll have a look and see
Infinity motorcycles were incredibly helpful. Very knowledgeable sales assistant. Tried on the NXR and I have to say it fitted like a glove. Very comfortable, incredibly light. I mean, just wow, light. And uh, I certainly am a medium size. I also tried on the uh, Arai, I think it was the Chaser. Um, and I have to say, it's. Um, yeah, quality lid again, but um, it just didn't seem to to fit me. I know lots of people say you've either got a Shoei head or an Arai head. The, the guy at Infinity said, yeah, that's true. Uh, it's less the case now with the um, helmet shapes of... Uh, to come a little closer together uh, less true now than it used to be shall we say but still still a valid thing and and certainly from what I've just seen and tried that's very much the case so what was I saying yeah so it definitely appears like I uh, I have a show a head so I've learned something new this morning um, and they've got some offers on there About 300-ish quid for some of the older colours. About 329, 330 for um, yeah, 330 for the uh, black or white. I mean, I, I looked at um, some of the Scorpion lids and the AGV lids. Um, and yeah, if I go for one of the cheaper ones, I'm going to spend about 150, 200 quid. Well, I'm not getting a lid of as good a quality yeah i'm still getting i'd still get a good quality lid but not as good a quality as the nxr um and if i want to uh, want to get similar similar quality in terms of materials and all that and comfort and such like then um i'm going to be paying similar sort of money to the show eh? And they say to you, don't they, that the uh, best lid is the lid that fits you best. And there's no doubt about it, that show was just a delight to put on. Yeah, a little tight, obviously, to start with, but that'll break in. But now, um, with my cable back on, um, I feel like someone's taken some uh, kitchen scale weights and, and, and hung them on my ears. So I've got myself a new lid and I did buy a, a Shoei NXR and um, having been the other day to uh, try one on and had massive help from the uh, guys at Infinity Motorcycles I fully intended to uh, go back and, uh, and buy one from there but I have to say I didn't and I feel a bit a bit crappy for doing this but um, I ended up buying one online um, and I say I feel a bit crappy because yeah I went to Infinity to try on um, and they're really helpful and, and they kind of deserve the sale to be fair with you um, but I found such a good offer online that I just I'm sorry I just couldn't give it up um, so I've got the um, Mark Marquez Black Ant helmet and I also got a uh, gold iridium visor to go with it um, I have to say it does look a little bit uh, Go Go Power Rangers but uh, <laughs> yeah 
yeah my uh, my son thinks uh, thinks it I look like a power ranger don't know whether that's a good or bad thing for an eight-year-old to think that um, so yeah no I fully fully intended to um, go back to infinity to the shop and buy and I think they were they had this um, Mark Marquez Black Ant replica, which is um, an old colour scheme, and so therefore is um, is being discounted pretty much everywhere. And I could have uh, got it from Infinity for about 300, 320, something like that. Um, my my favourite online retailer, SportsBikeShop.co.uk, who I have to say are absolutely fantastic. Never had an issue with them. Uh, they they had it on for 298 299 so very similar so yeah no problem whatsoever but then i found on uh, on amazon um, an online retailer who um was selling this one and they only had medium in stock and it was the last one they had for 200 pounds well i hadn't heard of this retailer before and you know buying something like a helmet i was thinking mm, i don't want to trust and do that and yeah i hadn't heard this retailer before but i um i contacted sports bike shop with their price match promise sent them the link and said look this is this what will happen and sports bike shop came back and said yep no problems we will price match that so i'm afraid in the end i bought with uh with sports by shop because um yeah it was a hundred pounds cheaper than i could have got at infinity as i said i would normally want to buy from a on uh from a shop for something like this particularly as they've been so helpful and i'd use their services to try on and help make my decision but a hundred pounds was too much to ignore so, the Mark Marquez Black Ant Replica NXR. And uh, what a difference after my K Berg Duke. I mean, it is so light. And I'm not just talking about light, light, I'm talking about wow, light. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I feel like I'm wearing a helmet because I can feel it around my cheeks and stuff like that but you hardly feel like you're wearing it at all in terms of the weight it's it's significantly lighter um, the shell is significantly smaller as well so I don't uh, don't look like I've got an oversized head now and the construction and fit from just the general outside of the helmet to the the interior lining is is just a class above uh, yeah the popper system for the lining inside is it, it, it just it just has a more quality premium feel um, the proverbial it fits like a glove is true it, it's supremely comfortable it's I mean uh, this is the first time I've, I've worn it out on a ride and it's a bit tight around the temples and the cheek um, as any new helmet will be um, but I know that will give uh, with a little bit of uh, riding and wearing but um, boy it's lovely and the, and the other thing that is incredible is how quiet it is I was saying the other day how um, even at, at 60 the wind noise from the uh, from the Duke and particularly at uh, national speed limit it's whistling it's roaring and, and yeah I can hear a little bit of not wind noise here I'm at 50 and um, and it's a bit of a windy morning anyway but um, and I've got plugs in because I'm riding into, uh, into central London this morning but um, it is just so much quieter. I, I don't know. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go as far to say, oh, you could wear this without plugs without any problems at all. 
um, but it's significantly quieter so my tick boxes of what I wanted I wanted something that was a smaller shell size tick I wanted something that was more comfortable tick and I wanted something that was quieter tick so it um, it has certainly ticked all my boxes one thing I it, it did come with which I don't know maybe is uh, Maybe it's just me, but in the box came a, a little, a small little tube of silicon oil, which you're meant to um, shove around the rubber of the seal of the visor to make sure you have the best possible fit. And uh, I've got the visor all the way clicked down. Um, and now I'm only doing 35 miles an hour. I've got the middle top vent open and the chin vent open. And I can, it's plenty of ventilation. And I can feel the air actually, even at this speed, in over the uh, top of my head, cooling down. In fact, it's probably uh, a bit too much for the weather conditions this morning. But there's another further two top side vents you can open, which I'm sure come the summer. But even just feeling it as it is, I'm sure this will uh, give plenty of uh, ventilation over the top of my head during the summer um, and and yeah the chin ventilation come up I mean I have got a a pin lock here in my visor uh, one comes supplied with the uh, with the helmet so I've got the pin lock here in the gold iridium visor and um, I said it's a bit, bit chilly this morning you can see your breath and I've had the visor locked down the whole time I've been riding and not one hint of fogging. Uh, there is also a, a breath guard, which I'm sure is helping, because not even that bottom part of the visor where the pin lock is, uh, like in my cave bag, I used to get the, the very bottom part not covered by the uh, pin lock fogging up, and uh, obviously not on the pin lock. So no, not, not a dicky, and, um, and good ventilation coming through. So ventilation is really nice. Uh, the other thing which I really, really like is um, the visor itself is huge. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking now through and in my peripheral vision and I can hardly see the outlines of the helmet uh, in my peripheral vision. So above my eyebrows at the top, if I look up, you know, I've got plenty of good a good view there so you know, on those times when you're tucked in right down like this you can look up over the top of your uh, eyes and you still get fantastic uh, vision out the out the helmet and the visor you know, noticing a bit more uh, wind noise there as i've tucked down probably as the vents open my head up and uh, it's fine so yeah out the top there brilliant and left and right peripheral vision um, there's no sign, I can't see the uh, helmet in my peripheral vision, so I've got really good, yeah, 160 degree uh, views. And, and I've noticed also that because of the size of the helmet and the way it's designed, it, it just isn't bulky or chunky. Let's get past this, uh, past those cars. Um, because of the size of the helmet and how it's been designed it's so easy to glance over your shoulder much easier I mean I'll, I'll just not that I'm going to change lane but I'm just going to do a quick little check over my right shoulder I mean it's just whoa fantastic you can really get your head back almost to almost see right behind you um, which I couldn't with my K-Bug. My K-Bug, I get to about there and then have to use my peripheral vision to check right behind. And again on this side. Yeah, it's it, no... So from, from a safety aspect in that way, it's... I like it as well. And again, with that wide peripheral vision with the visor, you know, check over either shoulder and you'll you'll get you'll be able to pick up a full picture it's not difficult to get near enough a 360 degree view 
of what's around you um, with some head movement. So all in all, I am really, really impressed with this helmet. Um, I, I think I've got it for an absolute steal. You know, normally the top um, top new replica helmets are 400 plus pounds. You know, to, to get an NXR for 200 sheets, I think is incredible. Uh, value for money, and you know, that, that's that's about fifty quid more than I paid originally. I think for my K Bug Duke might be a little bit, a uh, little bit more. Might be sixty, seventy, but I'm sure about fifty quid more. Um, and I think fifty quid is well worth it. Think about visors. Um, one thing I was a little thought or concerned would I miss is the internal drop-down sun visor in the uh, in the Duke. On mornings like today, where you can see there, the sun's behind the clouds at the moment, and it's quite dull. And then the sun peeps out like that, and you get oh, sun, sun, sun. Um, you know, it's not the sort of whether you want to put on all the conditions you want to be wearing sunglasses but I thought mm, am I going to miss that and being able just to flip that down and then flip it back up again um, and I think the jury's still out on that but that's why I've got the I've got my clear visor that came with it and, um, and I've got a genuine show a gold iridium visor so it's not as dark as the dark smoke visors that they do I mean it looks from the outside as if it'll be you know black as black but it's not actually there's a, there's a fair bit of light transmission coming through And on a day like today, it is ideal. Even with the sun shining directly at me, it just takes that, that glare and sharpness off the sun, because I'm not squinting. Uh, but it's not too dark that when the sun's gone in, uh, you can't, that, you know, you're struggling to see. So, with only, I've only been wearing it for half an hour. So far, I would say it's um, very good, this visor. It's exactly what I needed. Good spring autumn visor. Here we are at um, motorway speed limit. My head's not being banged around everywhere. It's not unpleasantly uh, noisy. This is this is a quality quality helmet. I am so pleased that I've gone this route. Right here we are now, with the sun shining out here, and this gold iridium visor is ideal. It's taking that uh, harshness and glare off the sun. That yeah, I'm not having to squint. I'm not struggling to see. So ideal absolutely ideal see now the sun has totally gone in and it's much darker and overcast but no problems with this visor so I'm getting close to the end of my journey now I've had this helmet on for about an hour and 20 minutes and it's uh, it's fantastic. I've only had the uh, visor just up a couple of times just for a little bit of fresh air in as I've been stationary. Um, it's been superbly comfortable 
more than I uh, could have expected. Uh, very, very light. Very little wind noise. In fact, there's not one downside that I would say. Very, very pleased with this. And especially having only paid 200 quid for it. I'll live with being the Power Ranger for 200 quid.